You'll see from here, we have the emergency stop button. We have a jog button, which allows you to go up and down in the menus and select. And we have a pair button, uh, which also acts as a reset button for Bluetooth. So if you want to connect to Bluetooth and someone else is connected to it already, you can press the pair button and that will disconnect them and allow you to connect. So one of the first things we would want to do when we first turn the XFly on is go to the calibrate screen, pull the rope out fully and press the calibrate button and you'll hear a beep to show that it's been calibrated in that correct location. Move down to enable motor. That noise tells you that the XFly is ready to be used. But if the emergency stop button is pressed in, then it won't work. You can adjust the boost from the screen as well. So this is the eccentric overload and select that. Now, if you leave the unit for, for more than five minutes, the boost will automatically set back to zero for safety. You can also disable the motor in this screen. You've got the wind up function, which will start the motor wind up and be progressively faster until the wind up happens. And we can press the emergency stop button to interrupt it. You don't have to use it. You can actually spin the flywheel with your hand to get it moving.